Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Eclipse Vox, Deleting Voice Vocabulary Punctuation, Symbols, and Formatting, I'm going to show you how to remove all of the necessary entries from your Dragon vocabulary to ensure that you get consistent dropdown from Dragon. This consistency is critical to ensuring that you get good translation in Eclipse. This video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing 9th Edition for Court Reporting, written by Betty A. Keyes. Before you begin dictating with Dragon, it's important to delete some of the default vocabulary. Dragon is able to generate punctuation, symbols, and formatting commands when you say them. However, in some contexts, it may not produce the correct result. This is solved by creating and training utterances to use for these symbols, punctuation, and commands instead. There are three types of conflicts that will be removed. Punctuation versus word conflicts, symbol versus word conflicts, and command versus word conflicts. If these steps are not followed, Dragon may not produce consistent voice steno in relation to these types of entries, and your translation may not be consistent as a result. When I open Eclipse, I'm going to choose the Vox user that I created. If you only have a single user for Vox, then you can choose that user and press OK. Once I'm in Eclipse and my user is loaded, I'll go to Vox Vocabulary from the toolbar, or you can go to Tools, Voice, and choose Edit Vox Vocabulary. Dragon will open, and I'll be prompted to choose my user. I'm going to choose the new user, Ashley Vox, that I made in the previous video, and choose Open. Once the vocabulary editor has opened, in the bottom left where it says display, I'm going to choose words with spoken forms only. The first entry in this list is all caps. Commands like this need to be removed so that if your witnesses say them, you can utter them into Dragon and you'll get the correct translations. I'm going to start by selecting all caps and I'm going to scroll down and look for the entry that is a double ampersand. And here you see I found the entry for double ampersand logical and, and I can hold down the shift key and click on ampersand ampersand logical and, and it will highlight everything in between. Instead of using your mouse to do this, however, you can also choose all caps, hold down the shift key, and hit the page down button four times, and then down arrow twice to ampersand ampersand logical and, to highlight all of the entries. Next, we're going to delete these entries and click yes to the delete word warning. And once these entries are deleted, we can move on to the next group of entries that need to be removed. The next group we're going to delete will be from begin single quote to end single quote. So again, I'm going to hold down my shift key and either arrow down or click on the last one to highlight them. I'll click yes to the delete word warning. The next entry that needs to be removed. The next group of entries that needs to be removed begins with left paren. And we're going to delete everything down to the plus symbol. And again, you can hold down your shift key and arrow down, or hold down your shift key and click on the last entry to highlight all of them and then click delete. Click yes to the delete word warning. The next group of entries to be removed is from dash to minus sign. So I'm going to highlight dash and hold shift key down and arrow down to minus sign. And we'll delete these entries and confirm the delete word warning. The next group of entries that needs to be removed begins with the word dot. So I'm going to scroll down and look for dot. And here we see dot with a written form of a period and spoken form of dot. And we're going to delete everything from dot to point. I'll delete these and confirm the delete word warning. And next I'm going to look for the forward slash entry. And here I see the forward slash. And I'm going to delete everything between forward slash and the division symbol. So I'm going to hold shift down and scroll down and look for the division symbol. 
And here I see division symbol. So I'll, while shift is held down, I'll click on division symbol. And everything between forward slash and division symbol has been highlighted. And I can delete these and click yes. And that is all of the entries that need to be removed from the vocabulary editor. And so you can click close. These steps have removed all punctuation marks like periods, question marks, and begin quotes, etc., with the exception of having kept the comma. All symbols such as a dollar sign, ampersand, and at sign have been removed, and all formatting commands such as all caps, no space, next line, etc., have been deleted. Now that this has been done, when you dictate anything into Dragon that would have normally been recognized by Dragon as punctuation, symbols, or commands, only words will be produced, and those words can always be correctly interpreted by Eclipse. The next step to setting up your voice user will be to import voice codes into your vocabulary. That'll be covered in the next video. And if you don't move on immediately to that video to start importing your voice codes, it's important that you do save your speech files. I'm going to close out of Eclipse. And Eclipse has asked me if I want to save my speech files. I'm going to click yes to make sure that the changes I made to the vocabulary will get saved. If you're going to move on immediately to the next step of importing your voice codes, you don't need to close out of Eclipse at this step and save your speech files. However, if you don't have time to move on right now, Please make sure that you do save your speech files so that when you move on to the next step, you'll be prepared. Thank you so much for watching this video. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 seven. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. If you have questions about Eclipse, Eclipse Vox, or any of Advantage Software's other great products. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.